Hello and welcome back to this video. Today I'm going to be telling you why you should read The Gambler by Fyodor Dostoevsky. And I think that reading The Gambler is just such an interesting book, not only because it is one of Dostoevsky's shorter novels, but also because it is a very interesting discussion about psychology, about philosophy, and also about ethics and the, the nature of a gambler, of, a, of an addict of sorts. And that's something that I want to talk about in this video. I'm not necessarily going to go through every detail in this book. I think I, I'll make analysis of, of these books a bit later in, in this Dostoevsky series. But today I'll just generally go over the main themes of this book and also talk about why it might interest you and who this book is for. So, so this would be, as I've suggested or alluded to, this would be part of a series where I go through most of Dostoevsky's works and say, well, why you should read this and who these books are for. And, and that's what I'm going to be talking about here. I'm going to be talking about The Gambler and whether you should read it. So The Gambler is essentially a book written by Fyodor Dostoevsky. There's a lot of different translations to The Gambler, but the one I have in my hand right now is indeed the Dover Thrift Editions, which is indeed a based on uh, the Constant Garnet's authoritative translation, which is perhaps the, one of the first translations of Dostoevsky's works out there and of, to English. And of course, there's different translations of Dostoevsky in different cultures. And we just have to understand that when we're reading interpretations of Dostoevsky, a lot of them, you just really have to check out what translations they're looking at, because some translations are indeed a bit more liberal with the terminology. For example, some of the French translations, especially the early French translations of Dostoevsky's works, especially the, the notes from underground, that translation was a bit liberal. It was a very, it was, it was a semi, it was a kind of a dodgy translation and a very open translation of the works. However, that's just something we want to think about. We, I think this translation is a very good translation and really represents the ideas of Dostoevsky. So first of all, let's talk about why Dostoevsky wrote or how this ties in with Dostoevsky's life, because I think that the best way to read books is via understanding their context and their relationship to the author or the writer, and in this case it's Dostoevsky who's a writer, but it's like reading Tolkien or reading C.S. Lewis, the best way to understand each individual book is to read and link it back to the writer, because the moment you separate a book from its writers, that's where a lot of misinterpretations and different ideas can indeed come from, and it's very easy to lose focus of the main goal of what Dostoevsky was trying to achieve. So the context to The Gambler is essentially Dostoevsky's own experiences with gambling and his own experiences with addictions and and essentially we want to say is that something you have to just keep in mind every time you read Dostoevsky is that Dostoevsky's books are very much a reflection of himself he he writes about his internal experiences through the characters in the novel and you can make the strong case that most writers actually do that they're the books they write is indeed an expression of their inner psyche or their inner philosophy but Dostoevsky does that takes that to a different level it is a very personal work and and this, and this book, the, the Gambler, really plays out perfectly. You have the Gambler, the main character, who, who struggles with this addiction of gambling from the beginning to the end, but also has a sense of morals within it. Not, although he understands the risks of gambling, although he does gamble himself and does that to really dangerous and unreasonable levels to follow that addiction, when he sees someone else gambling, for example, a girl he loves or perhaps the grandma, who is who's normally referred to just as a grandma, when the rich grandma comes in, you look at her and you're like, well, you're, you look at that and you're like, well, that is, that's, he, he turns to these other characters and warns them against gambling, or at least he warns them to gamble within reason, even though he doesn't do it himself. And that's a very interesting psychological analysis or a psychological discussion about how, how, how even those who suffer sometimes would understand why they're suffering and can apply or can teach their knowledge to other people, even if they can't apply it to themselves. It's the idea that people like to see other people and they try to help other people, but in the same way that help, their advice that goes out does not come back in. And that's something very interesting we want to talk about. And I think it really emphasizes or really, really helps you realize not only deeper about the psyche of the gambler, of an addiction, but also helps you understand more about Dostoevsky. And that's why I think it's a very interesting book to start off with, because it really helps you learn more about the writer, the character, of Dostoevsky without having to read the Brothers Karamazov or Demons, which are way longer works. And this and The Gambler is at least one seventh or even one tenth of the length of any of these his, his other main big novels. But I, it gives you a very in-depth understanding about his struggles with addiction and his struggles with gambling. And because Dostoevsky, he struggled a lot with these problems. And, 
And that is something you want to keep in mind throughout reading the, the Gambler. So that's kind of why you want to read the Gambler. It tells you a lot about Dostoevsky himself. It tells you a lot about the nature of the gambling scenario. It teaches you a lot about yourself as well. When you're reading that, you, you understand how much or how important it is to really take your own lessons when you share it with people, what you, what you dislike about other people, what, what you want to warn people against. You have to make sure you apply that to yourself as well. All these ideas are found really well in The Gambler and also just is a huge warning against these ideas of addictions. Because if, and my friend Warren Jew from Thinker's, Thinker's Kitchen, he also says that while the idea of addiction came, kind of came from the original word of being addicted or a, a reverence towards God and, and it's kind of these addictions that you have creates yourself in yourself another God for you to follow instead of following God in the sense of Yahweh, what you do follow is you're following money, you're following your drugs, you're following the gambling, and by being addicted to that, you, you let your life, you almost worship it in a very dogmatic sense of the, of the word, and, and, and you start being slavishly following this idea, and that's where the danger of addiction comes from. You're, you're following this idea, and, you're, and you turn to them, and you lose all control over your life, because that becomes your central idol. You, you let that become your edifice and then you start following it. And no matter what you do, you can't leave it because you're completely addicted to it. You're worshipping it. And, and that's a very dangerous thing to do. And The Gambler points out that danger really, really well. So that's kind of why you want to read The Gambler. I hope you've enjoyed this short video about why you should read The Gambler. If you want me to review or talk more about The Gambler or talk about any other book about from Dostoevsky or Nietzsche that you want me to discuss later on in this series, feel free to let me know. I'll be making more of these these kind of why you should read Dostoevsky or Nietzsche books every Saturday and then later after I finish going through all of their works I would then go in in-depth discussion about every single part of these books but of course if you're interested in that make sure to like and subscribe I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful let me know if you want me to elaborate on anything clarify anything in the comments below or join my discord server I'm always happy and open to talk about Dostoevsky so I hope you have a great one like always stay safe see you soon thank you for watching and goodbye thank you for watching Stay safe, my friends.